What's up, YouTube? Theater Guy Don here with another video. Um, you guys can see I got three screens on my main screen today. Um, I want to do a little comparison. So, basically, today I'm in my room, my theater room here, and I have the windows wide open. Super sunny day in Florida. I live in Florida, guys. Um, you can see the palm tree right there outside. Here's my Epson 2045 mounted to the ceiling. A little bit of the rest of my room here. Got to have a gladiator photo picture. Go mats, even though we suck. So as you guys can see, this, this room is super well lit. I got my can lights on all the way around. So here, here's the images that we're getting, guys. Let's scoot over this seat, actually. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I got a little cold. So as you guys can see, this is for sure watchable you know you can definitely watch in this environment if you wanted to you know lights fully on windows wide open living in sunny sunny south florida you know this is uh this is what you get you know So what I've noticed is, you know, the screen on the white, the right, excuse me, is this, the Elite Screen Cine White. The one there in the center is Elite Screen Cine Gray. And the one on the left is Elite Screens Cine Gray 5D. Okay. I'll bring you up there so you can see real quick. All right. So that's what we're working with today. So you can see on the right, that screen is kind of washed out big time. All three of these screens are washed out a little bit. Um, I will say that the screen there on the left is a really nice screen, uh, the Cinegray 5D. If you guys aren't on a budget and, uh, you know, you're not really worried about the money, that looks like a good screen from what I've done. Um, the one in the center just looks too dark for me. Um, I mean, it looks good, obviously, but I like crows much better than that one. The one on the right, I don't like it in dark scenes at all. It just, everything turns gray. So, what I'm getting at here is I'm going to close the blinds, turn the lights off. So, you can see what it looks like in a normal theater environment, you know. Um, but this is great. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but my Epson is, is 14 feet back. Um, so it's having to cut through a lot of light right now to, to hit the screen. And just for a paint mix, I mean, I think this looks phenomenal. So let me do that. Let me close these blinds. Go ahead and turn the lights off here, guys. So you can see as soon as I click that switch, the picture became awesome. Sorry for the shakiness there. But this is what we're working with right here. And this is what it's all about. And for, you know, 50 bucks a quart or whatever, at least for the sale, to me, 
throwing this entire screen up for like 200 bucks including the screen paint you can't beat it you know especially in this environment so crow bro you've done an awesome job on this screen mix man um i got another um set of screens i'm gonna also do a test with carl's place screens I'll do another video on that in the next day or two. Um, if you guys have any ideas, something maybe you want to see, let me know. But um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And, um, you know, if you've seen this video, go ahead and subscribe. I'll keep on making some more videos. But for now, Theater Guy Don out. And uh, check you guys later.